Here I have 1969, but from Philadelphia Mint, with no mint mark. Let me zoom in. See, it's in not a bad condition overall. Circulated, but not that bad at all. Just one. Let me go pick a two speak. I all oh, every time I say I'll go grab it, but this time I should take it. Will be ASMR. So you see one deep gauge here. It looks like a bag mark here as well. A slanting mark. And the facial part is showing where on high points but you see the hair motifs preserved their structure so it's not that worn as it's seen from here the elevation is evident on this part as well on this nose so high points are in average condition so liberty some we have some stain here unpleasant stain spots carbon one large carbon spot here and another freckle here date is readable and sharply struck in god we trust as well let's check backside So now here is you see the FG. It's in its place. It's not missing. Let me zoom in. One moment. It's like much better. So FG is here. It's not missing and it's not floating memorial roof as these elements are available present so it's not over polished it's normally struck circulated penny it's not weakly struck because stairs are seen as well are delineated but just uh, light, light softness is a uh, present. Light strike softness. No major contact marks in this on this part. Just tiny nick here. So nothing distracting. Large, no large distraction. One carbon spot here. Is it carbon or stain? It's it's definitely carbon. Okay, let's check the value of this date as well. 1969 Philadelphia. So 1969, I'm, I'm sure most of you know that, have one super valuable date uh, variety, which is double die of verse. Okay.
so no information here so the mintage why well, it doesn't it doesn't show even mintage so let's refer to pcgs then So, mintage was really gigantic, 1 billion, or 1 billion, 1.1 billion. Philadelphia, diameter 90 millimeters, 95% copper and 5% zinc. So, the high-end gems are considered MS67 specimens, as we can see, PCG is certified just 17 17 of them that fine with non-finer among 1.1 billion approximately so they are considered rare in this condition of ms67 which lacks three points from absolute perfection numismatic perfection that is ms70 but nevertheless even red specimens due to huge mintage even red specimens of high-end high-end grades like ms70 67 they are they sell for something between 280 dollars and 1600 dollars for instance this is the top sale let's see also at heritage auctions this specimen graded ms67 red very nice glowing red very sharply struck letterings are bold lettering is bold i i don't know why they why lettering is in not not in plural in grammatic something always a confuse so the date okay liberty fine in god we trust uh, device elements are sharply struck let's check the back side as well back side is much more beautiful you see the FG is available no roof uh, no flying roof here just tiny some tiny back marks or something here very nice specimen look how sharp this monument is very beautiful specimen and it was sold for $1,645. It's a top sale of this uh, variety, of this uh, grade, MS67, according to PCGS at Heritage Auctions. So, let's see what we have else 